Hi everyone! Today's session is about subtraction as the inverse of addition. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in You! The learning goals of today's topic is to illustrate subtraction as the inverse of addition and to subtract numbers. Are you ready? Great! But before that, I have a question for you. What is the relationship of subtraction and addition? Do you know the answer? Or are you interested to know the answer to this question? Great! If yes, just keep watching and listening. Alright, so let's start with this problem of the day. Your mom ordered two dozen of brownies. Your family ate 20 pieces of it. How many brownies were left? Okay, I'll give you 15 seconds to think of the solution. Ready? Go! Alright, time is up. Now, for you to answer this problem, you need to know what does a dozen mean. So, when you say one dozen, that means it's equal to 12 pieces. And when you say now two dozen, that means 24 pieces. Double the number. Double number 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. Alright, so let us now have our solution to the problem. Since you know already the meaning of one dozen and then two dozen. Okay, so we have 24 minus 20. So let's represent 24 using the place value chart and the base 10 blocks. So we have two tens and then four ones. Okay, let's subtract the digit in the ones place. 4 minus 0, so we will not be taking away any number, any block in the ones, right? We will not be removing, so it's still 4. And then 2 minus 2, we will take away 2 tens. Okay, 1 ten, 2 ten. So now you can see the answer, right? That there were 4 brownies left. Okay, alright, now... How will you check if the difference is correct? Difference means the answer in subtraction. What will you do? Alright, now this will be now the answer to the question, the first question I asked you a while ago. What is the relationship of addition and subtraction? Addition and subtraction are inverse operation or opposite operation. It means that if your answer is correct, we can use, we can check your answer in subtraction by using the opposite operation, which is addition. Alright, that is the relationship of addition and subtraction. They are opposite operation. We can use them for checking the answer if it's correct. Okay, let's go back to the solution to the problem of the day. We have 24 minus 20 is equal to 4. So let's check by using the opposite operation, which is addition. So we will add here 4 and then 20. Okay, we will add 24 and then 20. 4 is the difference and 20 is the subtrahend and then 24 is the minuend. As you can see, the minuend and the sum here, the answer in addition is called sum, right? Okay, they are the same. That means your answer is correct. Okay, let's have more examples. Example number one. What is the difference of 17 and 5? Okay. So 17 minus 5, 
Let's subtract the digit in the ones place. 7 minus 5? Yes, it's 2. And 1 minus nothing? Alright, it's still 1. We will bring down 1. So the answer is 12. And then let's check. So what are we going to do? We will add these two numbers, the difference and the subtrahend. So we have 12 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. And then bring down 1. See? 17 and 17. They are the same. That means your answer is correct. Okay, let's have example number 2. Subtract 55 from 98. Alright, in here, children, when you write subtract 55 from 98, we don't write it this way. This is not the same as 55 minus 98. Alright, this is not the same. We don't write it that way. Rather, your, okay, let's erase it first. Your 55 is the subtrahend. And your 98 is the minuend, alright? The bigger number. Okay, let's subtract now the digit in the ones place. 8 minus 5, 3. 9 minus 5 is 4. Now, let's go back to the question. When you see from, that means like 55 from 98. So that's how you will write it, children. Right, that's how you will write it. Okay, so let's check if it's correct. Okay, by doing the opposite operation, we will now be adding the difference and the subtrahend. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9. See, they are the same. All right, now example number three find the difference of 158 and 132. So, in here, you will just write it the normal way 158 minus 132 because there's no word from, you can't see the word from. All right, 8 minus 2 is 6, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then 1 minus 1 since it's 0. We don't need to put zero in the hundreds place, all right? So it's 26. Let's check. Okay, 6 plus 2, 8. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then nothing there, all right? That means zero, okay? So we'll just put down 1. And see, 158, 158, they are the same. The sum and the minuend are the same. So that means your answer is correct. Okay, it's time for you to practice. Please get your pen and paper. Ready? Alright, go! Alright, let's check. 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 4 minus 0 or nothing is still 4. So let's check. We add 45 and 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. And then bring down 4. Yay, they are the same. Okay, practice number 2. 84 minus 52. Go. Okay, let's check. 4 minus 2 is 2. 8 minus 5 is 3. Alright, let's see if it's correct. By doing this checking, we add, right? 32 and 52. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 5 is 8. See, they are the same. Very good. Okay, let's have the last practice. 748 minus 303. Go. Oh, 
Alright, so 8 minus 3 is 5, 4 minus 0 is 4, 7 minus 3 is 4. Yay! Let's check. We add 445 and 303. 5 plus 3 is 8. 4, 4 plus 0 is 4. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. Yay! They are the same. Very good, children. Very good. Alright, so this this is it. Alright, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope to see you next time. Bye! God bless you all!